Un coño. Le président, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. Now we would like to hand over to the co-prosecutor to continue putting questions for Mr. Hedda. You may now proceed. Au co-procureur pour les questions posées à ce témoin. Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon. Le co-procureur, merci, Mr. Mr. Hedda. I'd like you please to go to Bonjour. file three. Monsieur Hedda, pourriez-vous prendre votre classeur numéro trois? Tab one. I hope you have a document E three slash three one six nine. Nineteen ninety one publication Pol Pot and Q Sampon. Can you confirm that you have that document, please? Intitulé Pol Pot et Q Sampon. Avez-vous bien ces documents? Uh, I've got one not with an E number but with a D number but it's that document, document avec une cote en D. D number was D366-7.1.14. Now described as a, a, a paper but can you explain what stage you were in your academic career or what was going on um, academically in your life when you began your research which led to the publication of the book and the publication of the book time in 1991? Um, yes, as it says in the first footnote, Réponse oui, euh, comme indiqué dans la première note en bas de page. Primarily while I was a research fellow at the Australian National University. C'était essentiellement lorsque j'étais chercheur à l'université nationale d'Australie. Et euh, career, différents éléments the, uh, que j'ai rassemblés à différents moments de ma carrière. La plupart des recherches at the, at the et de la rédaction ont été faites lorsque j'étais à l'université nationale d'Australie. I'd like to start, please, on using the pages in the top right hand of each page to page uh, seven. This is English ERN 0008 771. Khmer, 00711-377 and French 007-22071 and it's on the topic of intellectuals and you write retrospectively Michael Vickery has also reported how Cambodian intellectuals were lulled into a false sense of security about the Communist Party of Cambodia's intentions by Q. Sompon's contrived prominence. He writes that one teacher he interviewed after the party's rule was overthrown on the 7th of January 1979 told him that up to 1975 he had sympathized with the revolutionaries and in particular admired Q. Sompon. He therefore had confidence for the moment in the rationality of Communist Party of Cambodia actions euh, and, in particular, euh, felt no fear or apprehension about the future. And you reference there Michael Vickery, Cambodia, 1975 to 1982. Um, again, just a little bit, Michael Vickery, connection with him, how you got this to be a footnote in the paper. Comment euh, avez-vous élaboré cette note en bas de page de cet article? Um, Michael Vickery est un historien 
of Cambodia. Michael Vickery and earlier, uh, whose, whose primary work is on pre-modern Cambodia, but is also Cambodge, written he rather extensively sur le Cambodge on contemporary mais il a politics. Également, uh, and this is just sur a, 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 a published book by, by Michael. C'est un ouvrage. Uh, and reading on on the same page, same ERNs, under a heading Q Sampon and the quote liberation, close quote. In what appears to have been a calculated abuse of trust in which he was held, Q Sampon actively helped just before the end of the war to set up Lon Nol military personnel and civil servants for easy execution. The esteem in which he was held meant that some of them allowed themselves to become sitting ducks for murder. Thus, as the Communist Party of Kampuchea advanced towards an all-out military victory during the first four months of 1975, Q Sampon twice signaled those who had been fighting against it that only the seven top leaders amongst them would be executed upon defeat. And footnote 25 lists, uh, lists of people, and you carry on. On the 24th to 25th of February, Q Sampon chaired the Second National Congress a meeting of members of Grunk who resided inside the country and 273 representatives of Funk associations and the army. The Congress declared that the seven traitors must die, but that other high-ranking Khmer Republic personalities could join the Sihanouk side. Then, on the 1st of April, a little more than two weeks before Phnom Penh was captured, Q Sampon spoke in a live broadcast over the Communist Party-run radio. He attacked the seven traitors by name, but appealed to the officers and men of the Khmer Republic Armed Forces to lay down their arms and join the Sihanouk side. You're referencing there the chairing of the Second Congress and then a broadcast on the 1st of April. Can I ask first of all about the 1st of April broadcast? Um, there's not a specific footnote to do with that. Can you remember what source material you were looking at in, res in respect of the 1st of April 1975 broadcast? Or was, were you in Cambodia at that time? Did you hear it? How does that appear in the paper? Um, well, the, the footnote, as you see, is to a chronology done by Tim Carney, who was at the time a political officer in the U.S. Embassy in Phnom Penh. And I relied on that, I think, for this particular piece of work. Because where I was at the time at the, at the Australian National University, they did not have uh, a complete set of the foreign broadcast information service translations of, des traductions of, of, of radio, public radio broadcasts. Um, I was in Cambodia on the first day of April. Um, we didn't in those days have access to the, daily, the, the FBIS daily report, but the embassy did make available the teletype version L'ambassade uh, uh, fournissait um, une version uh, dactylographique every, every et de ces diffusions so que je lisais I, tous les jours. I can be fairly certain I read it at the time, but uh, I didn't have that piece of paper in hand when I wrote this particular piece. Uh, so instead, I rely on Carney's chronology, which was based ouvrage, on the FBIS translations. And so we're clear what we all call the FIBIS, the Foreign Broadcast Information. Papers. You did re read those at the time back in 1975, but they weren't available to you when you were writing this paper, is that correct? Yes, that's that's correct. Yes, I just want to ask a question about these FIBIS. Je vais vous broadcast. Poser une question I mean, uh, this particular ces, uh, broadcast is E3 uh, slash 118. 
cette radio diffusion porte la parole de trois par cent quatre vingt huit. De façon générale, je voudrais essayer de comprendre la fréquence de ces diffusions et à quelle fréquence vous lisiez les transcriptions de la FIBIS. Est-ce que vous me comprenez? Réponse. The U.S. government personnel who did the monitoring of these broadcasts were based in Thailand, and they sat and listened to the these broadcasts for three days. They sat and listened to these broadcasts, recorded them, and then did translations. They listened to these broadcasts, recorded them, and then did translations. They listened to these broadcasts, recorded them, and then did translations. What would happen then would be that the translations would be transmitted to U.S. embassies around the world in a kind of teletype form, and those were those teletype. Translations were considered public documents within the U.S. government system. So one could go every day, as I did, not every day, but in order to be able to read every day, I would go to the U.S. embassy in Tehran to see if they had translated everything, or if they had translated everything. Some, but not all, of those. Teletype translations would then be compiled into a so-called daily report, which was a semi-weekly kind of in a magazine format, and which was deposited in a number of libraries around the world, not just at the University of Australia, but at the University of Australia. But certainly, in Cornell, there's also a British version, as you know, which is a copy of the Cambodian version. There's also a British version, as you know, which is a copy of the Cambodian version. There's also a British version, as you know, which is a copy of the Cambodian version. There's also a British version, as you know, which is a which had even fewer items in it, but essentially it was the same text. I just want to ask finalement. a question about that. I know what question. you're speaking about, but I just want to explain it to the judges. Certain documents on the case file are FIBIS broadcast, and then there's a copy of the same material but with SWB in the top. Hence, that's, I think, what you're, you're aiming at, etc. Et c'est de cela dont vous parlez. C'est exact. Réponse inaudible. Now, I think you said that you came to Cambodia in 1973. Is that correct? Question. Je crois que vous avez dit être venu au Cambodge en 1973. C'est exact. Yeah, first time in 1969, but only to pass through to work. Réponse. Oui, la première fois en 1969, mais je n'étais que de passage. Je suis venu. J'y suis venu travailler en 1973. Question. Was this in the capacity as a journalist, a reporter, if you like? What was the reason, purpose, background? To you coming to Cambodia in 1973. Um, I had finished my bachelor's degree at Cornell in Asian Studies. Um, I wanted to be a journalist. Um, in fact, I went first to Hong Kong and then to Bangkok to try and make my living as a journalist. In Hong Kong, there was too much competition. In Thailand, there was no story. So, uh, uh, a kindly veteran journalist in Bangkok said, so "You should go to Cambodia because there's not a lot of competition, and there's a story there that virtually writes itself." So I followed that advice, and my recollection is that I arrived in Cambodia in May of 1973. Can you remember what the first couple of events were? D'après vos souvenirs, quels étaient les premiers événements sur lesquels vous avez écrit des articles? Well, the 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 big story at that juncture was the fact that à cette époque, U.S. Congress l'histoire la plus intéressante était le fait que le Congrès américain avait Ordering an end to U.S. bombing of Cambodia, and the cutoff date for that end was 15 August 1973. And there was a widespread expectation that as soon as the American bombing ended, generally, on s'attend à ce que dès la fin des bombardements américains, les Khmer Rouges 
uh, arrive um, à Phnom Penh et que la, le régime de la République Khmer s'effondre. À mon point de vue, professionnellement parlant, c'était une bonne et une mauvaise nouvelle. C'était une mauvaise nouvelle parce que tout d'un coup, des correspondants euh, confirmés de grandes organisations de presse se, sont tous arrivés à Phnom Penh pour attendre l'arrivée des Khmer Rouges, ce qui ne euh, me facilitait pas la vie. Moi, je voulais démarrer en tant que pigiste. Et, euh, Mais la bonne nouvelle, c'est qu'avec l'arrivée de tous ces journalistes, ils avaient besoin d'aide, donc j'étais Position. Pour eux, j'ai um, commencé en fixer tant position, que you will. assistant, and, and I out doing euh, j'organisais des choses pour uh, eux et uh, j'ai commencé uh, donc à travailler avec NBC, network, uh, qui était une uh, magazine, chaîne de télévision et station de radio à l'époque, et avec le magazine then, hebdomadaire you know, Time. Time. Come, Mais les Khmer Rouges um, ne sont pas arrivés. Left. Les euh, so, journalistes sort of importants de Time sont repartis et ceux qui sont restés, euh, bien, nous avons continué à couvrir cette histoire. I just want you to try and paint a picture about sort of journalism world, 1973 straight quels étaient les contacts sort of how many entre les journalistes présents au Cambodge Combien de journalistes envoyaient régulièrement des rapports Et qui d'entre eux se rendaient sur le terrain, si vous me comprenez bien Pouvez-vous nous euh, donner une idée and the sort of de l'univers qui régnait euh, autour de vous et uh, quelles étaient les euh, personnes que vous fréquentiez Um, there were, there were Réponse. kind of two tiers. There were the staff correspondents Il y avait deux niveaux. Il y avait les agencies, correspondants permanents, um, des agences d'information existantes uh, qui étaient pour la plupart plus âgées. Uh, ils avaient, uh, par exemple, déjà été au Vietnam. C'était des uh, um, vétérans was, correspondants de guerre, si vous voulez. Ensuite, younger. il y avait euh, nous, euh, les plus jeunes, je faisais partie uh, de ce groupe older plus jeune, relativement. Il y avait Neil Davis, um, un journaliste plus mature, un Australien. Cinematographer. Il était euh, réalisateur et, euh, et euh, rapporteur, euh, journaliste euh, à la télévision et dans la presse écrite. Il m'a un peu pris sous son aile. J'ai beaucoup travaillé avec lui. Il y avait un jeune photographe japonais, Naki Mobuchi, qui est décédé aujourd'hui, ainsi que le journaliste précédent que j'ai cité. J'ai passé beaucoup de temps avec lui et aussi avec un journaliste japonais qui s'appelait Koki qui travaillait pour Kyoto et j'ai aussi beaucoup passé pas mal de temps avec Elizabeth Becker qui était à l'époque au Washington Post. Quand il y avait une histoire importante, quelqu'un venait de Saigon et nous les jeunes, nous les accompagnions lorsque il ne se passait pas grand chose, on nous laissait travailler ici. Petit à petit, j'ai progressé en passant d'un travail ponctuel euh, à un travail plus régulier. Did you become an into the field uh, reporter, or what you might call an office person, uh, sat in the center? What was your modus operandi? Bureau, uh, um, I wasn't as in the field as some of the. Uh, most forward war horses. Um, sur le terrain aussi fréquemment que les 
correspondant de guerre, mais j'ai passé un certain temps sur le terrain, sur les champs de bataille, aux environs de Phnom Penh. Je suis allé à Oudong et à Batamba. Done the BA, spent a little bit of time doing research in the National licence, Library because I was interested in the licence, political and historical background. Because I was interested in the political and historical background. Because I was interested in the political and historical background. Because I was interested in the political and historical background. Because I was interested in the political and historical background. Because I was interested in the political and historical background. Because I was interested in the political and historical background. Because I was interested in the political and historical background. Because I was interested in the political and historical background. Because I was interested in the political and historical background. Because I was interested in the political and historical background. Because I was interested in the Khmer Republic political scene in Phnom Penh. Et j'ai aussi travaillé sur la situation politique de la République Khmer. Thank you. You mentioned American bombing, 15th of August 1973. Did you see? Did others tell you? Was there information coming about continued bombing? Well beyond that date, or just beyond that date, American bombing. La poursuite des bombardements américains au-delà de cette date. No, at that point, the U.S. Air Force bombing completely ended. There was no more. Les bombardements des avions américains ont cessé totalement à cette époque. Cependant, les les bombardements aériens de l'armée de la République Khmer a continué, ainsi que les tirs d'obus par les forces aériennes de la République Khmer. Question. Je ne peux pas vous poser d'autres questions tout à l'heure. Je ne peux pas aborder chaque jour de votre séjour. Je vais vous poser une question. Vous me direz que si elle n'est pas utile. Vous êtes arrivé en mai 1973. Je crois que vous avez dit être parti en avril 1975. Je ne me souviens pas de la date. Pouvez-vous préciser Yes, it was the 11th of April. Réponse oui, c'était le 11 avril. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil Davis, who I just mentioned, and I flew out with the American evacuation of its personnel. Neil from May 1973 to the 11th of April 1975, with this specific question in mind, did you yourself see, or did others tell you, or was information coming to you? In help at all about what was happening, if it was happening, to captured Lon Nol soldiers. And what I mean by that is Lon Nol soldiers who were taken into the custody of, I call it broadly, Khmer Rouge forces, CPN, LAF, and so on. Can you help on this or not? I think the answer has to be no, not off the top of my head. There may be stuff in my notebooks, but I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific recollection that I can give you now. I don't have any specific that you remember reporting on. Do you understand the question? Quels étaient les événements importants que vous avez couverts en tant que journaliste? Comprenez-vous la question? Réponse. Oui. Anti-Lonol demonstrations in Phnom Penh. Des manifestations contre Lonol à Phnom Penh. In which two government ministers were killed. Dans un incident où deux ministres ont été assassinés. The big offensive that was launched against Phnom Penh on the first January 1975, and all of the subsequent battles on the perimeter of Phnom Penh as the Khmer Rouge closed in. Autour de Phnom Penh, avec le rapprochement des Khmer Rouges. 
jusqu'à mes derniers rapports qui concernaient l'évacuation américaine de personnel américain et d'autres accompagnants qui ont réussi à partir ou qui désiraient partir avec eux. Now, in this period, Question. Were you living most of the time in Phnom Penh if you weren't out in the field, si or were you moving around the country regularly? No, I lived in Phnom Penh. Réponse, non, initially, je à Phnom Penh. on the south. West au début, side of the city, the outskirts of Phnom Penh on the southwest ville, side. Uh, uh, I moved out of there because ville, we took a lot of incoming Khmer Rouge 105 shell, que nous, shelling uh, uh, to the center of town to be away from the 105 shelling coming from the southwest uh, and the 107 rockets coming from the east. Euh, des tirs de euh, roquettes 105 de l'Est. J'ai donc choisi de m'installer dans le centre pour éviter Again, one of those paint the picture cela. Question. What I mean Encore by this une question is vous demandant de décrire la situation et l'ambiance. Vous got shells étiez à Phnom Penh, euh, on tirait des avions sur la ville. À quelle fréquence Just give us a bit of a feeling. You're in a house in Phnom Penh or somewhere and shells are coming in. Just bring this to life. Que ressentiez-vous? Vous étiez quelque part à Phnom Penh, chez vous peut-être, et vous étiez sous les obus. You sound like my Time magazine editors. Réponse, vous me faites penser à mes rédacteurs au Time magazine. Oui, cela faisait peur on the southwest side of town, uh, um, de, uh, I had to dig a bunker under my house, sometimes live in the bunker, learn how many meters of dirt I needed to go on top of me to prevent the one of five shells from coming in. Um, pour éviter, uh, similarly, uh, when the rockets were coming obus, in from the uh, east, pareil, one could sit on what's now the waterfront de, and hear those rockets uh, being fired and être, see them coming uh, in. Uh, sur Over our heads et envoyer uh, and then uh, in the les roquettes town, qui uh, passaient au-dessus de nos têtes Monroe, et qui atterrissaient en centre-ville uh, vers also, Monroe, you know, the, the les gens étaient tués, la situation fraught, tense, uh, était très tendue en knows, ville. Who come in from the countryside, Comme chacun who sait, Phnom il y avait uh, beaucoup d'habitants de um, des campagnes qui sont venus à Phnom Penh. La situation politique uh, était essentiellement contre le gouvernement. Il y avait des étudiants, c'était une situation classique de révolution. Les étudiants et les ouvriers étaient contre le gouvernement. Les classes moyennes telles qu'elles existaient, et elles n'étaient pas nombreuses, étaient également contre le gouvernement. Et cela explique quelqu'un quelques aspects que I mean, I think I, I je couvre dans the, cet article, in, in, in this, et c'est ce dont nous parlons in, in ici. Document, I, I, dans cet article, je ne l'ai pas lu depuis longtemps, mais je crois que je fais référence à un article pour Time Magazine qui n'a pas été publié um, qui concerne les dirigeants des Khmer Rouges. Do, On m'a demandé d'écrire un autre article qui n'a jamais été publié, qui n'était peut-être pas assez palpitant. simply what people in Phnom Penh thought was going to happen when the Khmer Rouge came in. Um, and this was in the context of, of a time à in which des there was an enormous debate going on in the United States, un débat faisait um, rage aux états unis focused primarily on Vietnam, uh, which Cambodia was, of course, famous for the Vietnam, a sideshow. Euh, le Cambodge about whether or not when the communists won, which by 1875, si would be a bloodbath or not. Interrogeant um, les Cambodgiens de Phnom Penh pour savoir s'ils s'attendaient à un bain de sang ou pas. Part of the in this piece, et pour um, mettre for the most part, cet article en contexte, no. 
Pour l'essentiel, les gens pensaient que non. L'une des raisons en était que les gens pensaient que les Khmer Rouges comptaient des gens comme Kyo Sampan, Hunim et Kuyon, et beaucoup de progressistes et de gauchistes pensaient que ces gens étaient des gens bons, honnêtes, patriotes, des gens qui feraient du bien au pays et à la population. Déjà à l'époque, il y avait ce sentiment général que les Khmer Rouges étaient différents d'une certaine manière. Il y avait un autre point de vue consistant à penser qu'ils étaient certes différent, mais pire. Et quelqu'un m'a dit ceci, la question n'est pas de savoir si les Khmer Rouges seront différents, mais s'ils seront différents à la Yougoslave, autrement dit relativement modérés pour des communistes, ou bien à l'albanaise, autrement dit plutôt des radicaux. L'avis général, c'était la première option, qu'il serait plutôt modéré. Voilà la perception des choses qui était assez répandue. Deux questions. Ça peut sembler à vous comme une question silly. Question. Cela vous semblera peut-être une question stupide. Donc, vous êtes retranché. Il y a des roquettes directions. qui volent, qui viennent de deux directions. Qui envoyait ces roquettes et comment l'avez-vous su Réponse. Les tirs d'artillerie d'obus de calibre 105 venaient des troupes de la zone spatiale commandées par Nat. Imnol alias Nat. Et les obus de calibre 107 qui venaient de l'est étaient envoyés par la division 1 ou 2 de la zone est. Je le savais à l'époque grâce à ce que me disait l'attaché militaire japonais qui était très bien informé et qui avait tendance à partager son information. Question. Parlons des effets des tirs d'artillerie. Est-ce que seuls des bâtiments résidentiels ont été visés par ces, ou touchés par ces tirs d'artillerie ou bien est-ce qu'il y a eu aussi des écoles, des hôpitaux, des usines um, Réponse. All of this tous ces tirs, qu'il s'agisse de tirs d'artillerie ou de roquettes, je dirais que cela tombait essentiellement sur les zones résidentielles. Le pire incident, c'était quand il y a eu des tirs contre un quartier où beaucoup de gens gagnaient leur vie en vendant des bouteilles d'essence, ce qui a continué à exister au Cambodge jusqu'à tout récemment. Ça, c'est une parenthèse historique. Mais donc, il y avait ces tirs qui sont tombés dans ce quartier. Du coup, ça fait exploser cette essence et tout le quartier a pris feu. Question. Dans quel quartier de Phnom Penh est-ce que cette essence a pris feu Réponse. Dans l'Ouest. 
perhaps question. obvious, but you said that la the 105s came from the special zone commanded by Ilon Alias Nat, and the 107 millimeters from the east mm were by the east zone division one. Division one. Whose troops or what troops? I don't mean les troupes de qui, overall, troupes? under what global command, overall command. Dirigé par qui, de manière générale. Uh, these are Khmer Rouge zonal divisions Il s'agit des divisions de zones des Khmer Rouges agissant sous les instructions générales de l'État-major uh, qui, à l'époque, était déjà présidé par Sun Sen et était rattaché à Pol Pot. Le président. Le président, Mr. Prosecutor, please hold on. Mr. Coupé, you may proceed. La défense. Uh, <coughs> thank you, Mr. President. Um, Merci. It, mm, it appears to me, or it might appear, that there is a, um, a mixture going on Apparemment, of eyewitness testimony of the witness of what he saw incoming in 75. And filling in on mêle later, ce qu'a observé uh, cette personne en 75 avec les informations obtenues ultérieures sur les commandants de ces troupes. Uh, D'après l'addition de la Chambre, les deux that, sont certes it's, recevables, it's really je le comprends, mais il faudrait bien maintenir cette distinction pendant cette déposition. L'accusation, right. je suis d'accord, c'est tout à fait exact. Back in 1975 Quand avez-vous vu pour la première fois you or affecting Phnom Penh des tirs qui vous what affectaient year, what ou month, qui affectaient Phnom Penh or can you only be Quelle année, in this respect? quel mois, ou bien ne pouvez-vous que donner une information générale Réponse. Probably dry season of 73. Ça devait être la saison sèche de 73-74. But in a bigger way, initially, in a bigger way in the dry season of 74. Durant la saison 75, sèche de 74-75, ça commençait fin 73, puis début 74, puis ça a recommencé fin 74, et ça a débordé jusqu'à l'année 75, et ça a continué de début 75 jusqu'au mois d'avril 75. Now you've said Question. something about the troops who were shelling. Vous avez you've mentioned a Japanese attaché. Vous avez parlé and you were saying that Japonais. was the source for where they, they were coming from. La Can we clarify that? À de ces tirs. Is that clarifier? Is exact? Uh, yes, Réponse. there was the order of oui. battle information Il y avait that was shared des informations with me by sur les batailles que me rapportait l'attaché militaire japonais. Celui-ci avait des sources Republic qui, sans aucun doute, étaient les services de renseignement um, militaire de la République Il y avait aussi uh, des informations thank the Khmer, Khmer, Khmer Republic military <coughs> And civilian intelligence, des services de renseignement militaire et civil de la République Khmer. Il y avait là des informations sur la structure politique et militaire des Khmer Rouges. Informations recueillies par les services de renseignement militaire et civil de la République Khmer étaient identifiées les chefs de certaines zones administratives avec des noms des commandants des unités dans le cadre des unités administratives. Il y avait donc une présentation sommaire de la structure des Khmer Rouges, zones, centres, etc. Tout cela était 
déjà connu et il s'est avéré que ces détails étaient relativement exacts. Les informations que possédait la République mère étaient donc communiquées aux Japonais mais aussi aux Américains. On m'a fait parvenir des documents. L'ambassade américaine les a fait filtrer vers moi. Question. De type de document présent. L'ordre de bataille et l'organigramme. Vous dites que l'ambassade américaine vous a fait filtrer des informations. Vous avez parlé de Mais auparavant, vous parliez d'une structure militaire. Et vous avez cité deux commandants dont j'ai oublié le nom. Inlon alias Nat. And then you said something about Son Sen, and you mentioned Puis another person as well. Et vous avez cité quelqu'un d'autre. Can I ask this? From the order of battle material, à partir des documents the concernant les ordres de bataille, ou à partir can you remember de whose name was at the top of either or both documents, or whose vous name was next down, or if it helps, dans ces documents, go upwards from the commander bas. you mentioned ou qui montait à partir des commandants que vous mentionnez. Um, Réponse. Au moins, une certaine partie de ces documents mentionnait Salotsar tout en haut. Au sein des services de renseignement, il y avait des divergences d'opinion quant à l'identité de cette personne. Mais Utsarin a établi un rapport. Il avait fait des fections vers la République mère. Il a fait des rapports. Il faut demander aux témoins de parler plus haut. La voix des interprètes couvre les propos du témoin. Was identified as the head of the special zone, but by one of his other aliases, I think Sok Tuk, the alias used in the documents. Um, certainly, Tamok was mentioned. Um, in the east, certainly Sao Pum was mentioned as the head of the the zone. I think by his one of his one of his aliases, uh, Vana, so Vana Sao Vana. Il faut soit rappeler le micro, soit demander qu'il parle plus fort. Il faudrait, dit le Président, modifier quelque peu la place de la console. Um, I think that's that's pretty much it. Now, l'accusation. In terms of, uh, let's call it access to these orders of battle, organigrams, the Japanese military attaché. 
l'attaché um, militaire japonais. Did you have more or less access than other reporters? Were you in a special position? Par rapport aux Was autres reporters, est-ce que vous aviez davantage d'accès à cela? Est-ce que cette information était largement disponible à tous? Avez-vous une position privilégiée? Qu'en était-il? Um, I don't really know what réponse. the competition had. Je ne sais pas trop ce qu'avaient um, mes concurrents. I think there were there were some people in some embassies Dans certaines ambassades, who seemed to il y avait des gens appreciate the fact qui semblaient that I was a bit of an archive rat du fait que j'étais une espèce de rat de bibliothèque, puisque j'avais fait des recherches sur l'histoire de ces mouvements et des mouvements qui avaient donné naissance à celui des Khmer Rouges. Ces gens des ambassades qui s'intéressaient à l'histoire me voyaient d'un meilleur œil que d'autres journalistes qui, d'après eux, ne possédaient pas ces caractéristiques. Mais je ne sais pas ce qu'avaient les autres. Et je ne passais pas ces informations à mes collègues. Je ne sais pas s'ils en avaient plus que moi. Question. Vous avez parlé d'émissions concernant l'expression « assécher le peuple de l'ennemi ». J'aimerais vous interroger sur les émissions datant de mai 1973, au moment de votre arrivée, au 11 avril 1975, quand vous êtes parti. Quand je parle d'émissions, je parle d'émissions faites par le front ou au nom du front pour employer des termes aussi larges que possible. Je ne veux pas parler comme vos rédacteurs, mais sur quoi portaient ces émissions, quelle était leur fréquence, où se trouvaient la radio, écoutiez-vous seul avec d'autres journalistes, s'il s'agissait bien d'émissions, quelle était leur place dans la vie que vous menez um, Réponse. I listen, in some ways, just as part of my language study, J'écoutais en partie dans le cadre de mon apprentissage des langues, surtout le Khmer, une émission en Khmer, je sais que le matin tôt il y avait une émission, et en début de soirée aussi il y avait une émission. Il s'agissait surtout d'informations sur les batailles, une attaque ici, une libération ailleurs, nous avons capturé tel endroit, de temps en temps, il y avait des émissions exposant les politiques appliquées en zone libérée, les objectifs de la révolution, bien sûr à l'époque on n'employait pas ce terme-là, Franchement, c'était plus facile de lire les rapports FBS. Tout était déjà traduit. Il ne fallait pas peiner sur le dictionnaire. Je n'écoutais qu'un petit peu. Question. Quand vous écoutiez cela un petit peu, est-ce que c'était une chaîne radio D'après ce que disait le speaker, pouviez-vous savoir où se trouvait la station de diffusion I think the answer to that is no. I mean, no. I do vaguely recall there was a point in time where there was a second, vaguement, à un uh, donné, a second broadcast system il y a eu un which called système itself the, de the voice diffusion of funk for Phnom Penh. La voix du um, pour Phnom Penh. And that came on air, I think, after I Je arrived. Prior to that, it was something else. Uh, but I, I didn't, I didn't delve into arrivée, the where the broadcasts were actually Mais coming from. Je de savoir d'où venaient les émissions. There were broadcasts that were presented temps, as being in the voice of Kyosun Pong or somebody else with a name. Reproduisant la voix de Kyosun Pong, quelqu'un d'autre avec un nom. Et le plus souvent, c'était un speaker anonyme qui parlait. 
I want to concentrate on the Question. broadcast by Q Sampan Concernant or les in the name of Q Sampan ou utilisant le nom de Q Sampan. Can you tell us you've mentioned talk of battlefields you mentioned parlé talk of policy. De champ de bataille Can you de remember politique? when there was a broadcast by Q Sampan or on behalf of Q Sampan? Quand Q Sampan did the subject une émission, matter differ une from what you just said son nom? or can you que le thème était différent? Pourriez-vous préciser? Um, frankly, not specifically, no. I mean, it's, Pas précisément, it's all, sincèrement. And it's all jumbled up in my memory with Tout my cela se mélange quelque reading of peu Phibis, dans ma mémoire. Tout se mélange, ce que j'ai lu de la Phébis, tout ce que j'ai relu et encore relu un grand nombre de fois. Je ne peux pas faire la part des choses entre tout cela quant au moment où j'ai acquis ces informations. In respect of the broadcast by Q concernant Pond, les émissions de Q Sampan ou en son nom, one, two, half a dozen, eight, ten, can't remember. Combien What was the sort of y en a-t-il eu Number, just roughly. Environ. That you remember si vous vous en souvenez, such une, deux, dix. Maybe a dozen. Réponse. Peut-être euh, une douzaine. I've taken you on Question. a big side route from Pol Pot and Q Sampan, which was document number. On est parti du document e Pol Pot et Q Sampan. Three slash three one six nine. So can we return to that, On Mr. Head revenir. of Please, just to remind you again, file three, index one. Classeur and we were on page page eight. Same ERNs as previously given. Même ERN. Now, I asked you a specific question about the 1st of April. Concernant le 1er avril. Q Sampong broadcast over commun Communist Party run radio. It was the information about Q Sampon chairing the Second Sampon National Congress. It may be a difficult question, but can you remember whether that was from a broadcast or FIBIS, or can't you now say? Um, I mean, this was a Réponse. pretty big thing at the time. And à l'époque, I, I think I can bruit. say that I can remember reading the Je blue teletype Phibis version la version of this, of, of this reportage on this BIS concerning this reported reportage Congress, sur ce Congress sitting there in that U.S. Embassy Je me souviens avoir lu ça à l'ambassade américaine. Again on the Question. same document still, still the same page, so E3 slash 3169. <coughs> E3 bar 31, you started in the paper to talk about the Au début, Communist Party of Campuchia's policy vis-à-vis -vis the officers and men de la of the defeated de army and many of the Khmer Republic's civil servants. Et aux de la Khmer. I don't think it's fair that I read the next words because the rest of the page was based largely on confessions. But on top of the next page, which page is English 0008-7773, French 0072-2072, and Khmer 0071-13793. On this topic, you said, there is also documentary evidence of the involvement in executions of a military unit that entered Phnom Penh from the Special Zone, and which after the war was designated Division 703. This is in the form of an order signed by the Division Secretary to execute people mostly Khmer Republic Army officers in the division's custody. It's dated the 4th of June 1975, and it reads, all these 17 persons have been assessed by the party, and the party has decided they are to be exterminated. The comrades are asked to implement this policy of the party. And 
footnote 30, you'll see at the uh, bottom in the footnotes references PIN, il est fait de decision PIN, 4th of June décision, 1975, juin, and then a copy of this suite, document was kindly provided to the author, you, by David Hawke. Again, a little bit please about David, David Hawke and how you came into possession David of Hawke this document. Eu ce document en votre possession? Um, David Hawke David Hawk, uh, was a executive director of Amnesty International, United States Amnesty International section, <coughs> um, after having left that post, Après avoir quitté ce poste, uh, came to Southeast Asia, il est Asie du worked, I believe, for a religious NGO based out of Thailand, ONG um, and developed an interest in what had happened in Cambodia, and, Cambodge, and set up something called the Cambodia Documentation Commission, de uh, the objective of Cambodge, which was to try and gather evidence, de if you will, des données, um, in order to get a state's party to the genocide convention to take legal action against pour que les états partis à la convention sur les génocides prennent des mesures légales et ensuite l'ONU a reconnu le Cambodge démocratique dans ce contexte il est allé à Phnom Penh et à S21 là on parle des années 1980 il a visité le musée du génocide de Tuol Sleng et un exemplaire de curators lui a été remis par les conservateurs du musée de Tuolsleng. Ensuite, il me l'a montré et so m'a demandé de le lui traduire. Voilà comment j'ai eu ce document en possession. Thank you. Uh, Question. Same page in Même page en anglais. Khmer has moved on en Khmer, on est à la page French suivante. En français, la page reste identique. Heading. Q Sampon under Pol Pot in power. Le suivant. In Q May 1975, the Communist Party of Kampuchea en held a congress and it confirmed Q Sampon's membership in the Central Committee. He remained a Central Committee member throughout the period that the Communist Party held power. But it is, uh, he is believed not to have been elevated to membership in the Standing Committee while the party was still in power. Although the exact composition of this seven to nine man body between 1975 and 1978 is still not known with complete certainty, Q Sampon has never been identified as among the possible members. However, minutes of standing committee quora held in 1975 and 1976 reveal that he regularly attended them. It's the footnote in support of this, footnote 53, uh, sorry, 33, and you state the minutes of meetings of the standing committee, and then you give, I'll give the dates, 2nd November 1975, 22 February 1976, 11 March 1976, 17 May 1976, and 30 May 1976. All this Q Sampon is present. These documents were kindly provided to the author by David Chandler. The point of the question here, Mr. Heder, is this. At this stage, in I think it's 1991 when you wrote this paper. Je pense que vous avez écrit ce document en 91. You're mentioning here only Ici, five records of standing committee de minutes du comité showing attendance by Q. Sampon. So is it right that at this stage, Donc, when you were writing the paper, you'd article, only seen the five that you mentioned in the minutes, PV in the footnote 33? Um, I, the answer to that, I think, has to be, I guess. Um, I suppose that those were the ones that David Chandler had passed, had at that point uh, passed on to me. Um, and I'd add, if I may, that the earlier part of that paragraph, the part about May 1975, uh, I would no longer hold to that view. Uh, my subsequent 
je ne maintiens plus ce point de vue. D'après ce que j'ai compris par la suite, ce qui s'est produit en mai 1975 n'était pas une réunion du Congrès, mais du Comité central. Et son pan a été promu non pas en mai, mais en janvier 1976. Et la note en bas de page ne me plaît well. pas euh, vraiment. Donc, okay. cela um, ne m'étant pas que cette affirmation s'avère finalement être fausse. You then go on talking Question. about the anomaly of Très him bien. not being a formal member of the Ensuite, standing committee but actually attending meetings and you say this. Uh, this anomaly must be viewed in the light of subsequent developments, particularly the purge by execution of standing committee members who were accused of being Vietnamese agents because Pol Pot knew or suspected that they opposed his policies and leadership. And at, at, 19th, at, at footnote 34, you mention the people who that refers to. Is that correct? Uh, yes. From your research, interviews, consideration of documents, are you aware of any other persons who were members of the Central Committee attending standing committee meetings on a regular or frequent basis? Euh, régulièrement ou fréquemment um, Réponse. Le Président. Le Président. Le Président. Le Président. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez attendre. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez attendre. Maître Kong Samon, vous avez la parole. Council Kung Sum On. Thank you, Mr. President. I Merci, take issue Monsieur with this question. The confirmation from Je this witness regarding the presence question. of members of the standing committee de uh, must be based de on the research and study. A normal witness is not able Sur to base de give ses testimony or confirmation regarding uh, this uh, uh, document or this information that needs uh, research to ne find out. I really take this issue with this. Faits. Concernant lesquels uh, il faut I understand faire my friend's uh, objection, and I'm, I'm just going to rephrase the question. I hope that deals with it. De mon confrère, je vais reformuler la question. From factual sources, factual information. D'après vos sources et vos informations Does any factual factuelles, information indicate y a -il des other persons who were members of the Central Committee attending standing committee meetings on a regular or frequent basis? Uh, the one who Réponse. comes to mind is Suravasi alias Duan. Other than that, I can't immediately à part cette think of any. We'll come back to Dawn in a minute. Question. Nous allons revenir à Dawn tout à l'heure. Same page, same ARNs. Just for the record, E3 slash 3169. Mr. Hedder, do you have this page open? It's page 10. Halfway down the page. As Q. Sampon himself later admitted, the opposition to Pol Pot was stronger even than in the Central Committee. In an interview with the author on the 4th of August 1980, 
he alleged that Khmer agents who were the Vietnamese infiltrated into the Central Committee didn't reach half of its membership. But in the Standing Committee, it was almost half. The first question is, is that what you've written in the book? And then I'm going to take you to another document. Est-ce que c'est bien ce que vous avez écrit après well, nous yes, passerons à un document. Oui, c'est bien ce que j'ai écrit dans le livre. Same file, tab 6. Dans le même classeur à l'onglet 6. Page 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 Prosecutor, could you please hold on and cancel for pay? You may not proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Just <coughs> sorry, a request for clarification. In my document, it is always page nine that the calls were from. Um, it's, it's just to prevent confusion. Um, it, I have in front of me E3 slash 3169, ERN 0002754, but at the bottom it's I think it's the same document and another reference. Uh, if it helps, I've got E3 slash 3169 as the document. And then the page I'm on for the English ERN is 0008-7774. I think my learned friend, can he indicate if he's looking at one that appears in the published version, which was D366 stroke 7.1.14, as there are two versions on case map or the case file. There is the published version, which is quite black and quite grainy, and then the better copy in plain black and white typescript is also available under E3 slash 3169. Does that help? My ERN number is what I have in front of me, 00002754. So it's a completely different ERN number, but that still will explain the page 9, which seems to be part of the article itself. So this would indicate or would imply that there are two versions of the same article rather than two different ERN numbers or e documents. There are two documents under the case file, E3-3169. I think my learned friend has this version. There's also this version on the case file, and it's much easier to read without the black graininess of this document. I'll make sure I give on every page now the ERN. I, I think I have been doing, but uh, I'll try and help as much as I can. The President. The President. Uh, thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Should it is now Merci appropriate moment for the adjournment. The Chamber will Nous adjourn for 20 minutes. Pour 20 minutes. Court officer is now directed to assist uh, the witness during this adjournment and having returned at 3 o'clock. Veuillez porter assistance au témoin et le reconduire ici à 15 heures.